Thanks, Pat. Hi, hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Today, my topic is on uh, digestive system, uh, focusing on uh, stomach cancer, and also at the at the same time look at how gadoderma can use as a sub uh, complement treatment to cancer. Next. Yeah. Be First, we look at the stomach cancer statistic. Okay, worldwide gastric cancer, also known as uh, stomach cancer, accounted for about 783,000 deaths worldwide. And it is the sixth most common cancer. In Singapore itself, uh, it ranked number seven and nine for as a most common cancer in men and women respectively. As for the mortality rate, it ranked six Okay, for both men and women. Um, it normally commonly found in uh, people aged between 50 and 70 years of age. More common in men, yeah? Yeah, if so you look at the, the, the data from the bottom, it's about, about 553 people diagnosed on average, uh, okay, per year, based on the five-year data with stomach cancer every year. So there are 550 553 people actually diagnosed with stomach cancer and there are 300, about 300 people actually die of stomach cancer uh, on average yearly. Yeah, so these are based on the fire data collected in Singapore. Uh, next, please. First, we look at the anatomy of uh, stomach. So stomach is, in fact, is a J-shaped organ in the upper belly above the, around the abdomen area, and it is part of the digestive system. And uh, it's a muscular hollow organ located in between the end of the foot pipe, uh, we call esophagus, and start off the uh, small intestine, yeah? So this stomach is actually connected to um, two valves. The first valve is on the esophageal spindle, and the other valve which before leaving to the intestine is a, a pyloric spindle. Yeah. So stomach actually function as a food reservoir. What it does, their role is to actually what it does is to break down the food. How it actually break down the food is actually release the digestive juice, okay, to break down the food and also help in digestion. And the digestion digestion is actually take place in the small intestine. And the stomach structure has a five layers okay start from the inter internal layer okay mucosa followed by next sub mucosa and all the way to outer layer mucosa mu uh, mucolaris and sub serosa and the last part the outer one will be serosa yeah next please yeah so now we look at the function of a stomach so their function, the actually stomach is a reservoir that contains the food we eat. Uh, when food enters the stomach from the esophagus, which is the food pie, all the way from the mouth, when we, the food enters from there. And when you reach the stomach, it's actually um, broken down and digest into smaller molecule by the digestive uh, juice secreted in the stomach. So when the food inside the stomach, it actually close up the valve, yeah. So that the juice come out is actually uh, takes place uh, for the breakdown of the food. So much of the digest digestion, however, takes place in our small intestine. So stomach cancer, also known as, known as gastric cancer, can affect any part of the stomach. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah. So um, stomach cancer, now we look at the overview of stomach cancer. And uh, stomach cancer is also known as, uh, just now we mentioned about gastric cancer, it can affect any part of the stomach. And the whole thing is that it actually begins when cancer cells form in the inner layer, lining of your stomach. Okay, when it occurs when cell of the stomach wall grow, and divide without stopping, yeah. So at first it become uh, a lump, and then it become tumor. So this cell from lump called tumor, 
but not all tumor are cancerous. So sometimes a tumor may be a benign, which is non-cancerous, or malignant, cancerous. So stomach cancers. Now we look at the stomach cancer stage. Look at the picture. It's actually started from the inner layer, and when you start to grow bigger, you go to stage two, which is actually going to the next layer, grow out of to the next layer. And it progressive grow bigger and bigger and grow to stage four it, out of the outer layer. Yeah. Yes. Next, please. Yeah. As for the risk factor, well, the until now the doctor has not uh, do not know the exact cause of uh, stomach cancer. So the factor that may following are the factor that may actually increase the risk of stomach cancer. So um, the first one would be infection with um, highly cobacter pylori bacteria. So these are normally found from the food we eat and the, the, the water that we drink and how hygienic is the utensil. So this one is more, more like a bacteria from uh, all these things. Next is the dietary factors. Diet high in salty, smoke or preserved food or diet low in fruits and vegetable meaning you take uh, a lot of uh, preserved food, uh, barbecue food, smoked food, but less uh, vegetable and fruits. And the other risk factor is a uh, family history of uh, stomach cancer and uh, long-term stomach inflammation, such as the coronary gastritis. And the other one will be the GRD, the gastroesophageal reflux disease. Yeah. So um, another factor is also can uh, increase the risk is smoking. And the last one will be pernicious anemia. So this pernicious anemia is, uh, which is decrease in red blood cell that actually occur when the intestine cannot properly absorb vitamin B12. This pernicious anemia is actually a system, immune system related. So it actually affect uh, it actually, uh, the, the immune system attack the stomach cell, which cause, which cause the uh, one of the protein that not able to produce. So this protein is uh, so-called the intrinsic factor. And this intrinsic factor is actually required to actually transport this vitamin B12 to the intestine for absorption. But if, if the stomach cell not able to produce this protein, then you have this vitamin B gel not able to absorb. And that, 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 that's where it happened and it called pernicious anemia. Yeah. So next please. Yeah, now we look at the symptom. So um, the sign and symptom of stomach cancer include, uh, you have uh, upper abdominal pain or discomfort, yeah or feeling full after eating small amount of food. Or sometimes after a meal, you, you have heartburn. Yeah. And persistent indigestion. And um, next is the unintentional weight loss or loss of appetite. And uh, last one will be nausea and vomiting. Yeah, so these are the signs of uh, probably uh, stomach problem. They may want, need to actually uh, see a doctor. Next. Yeah, for diagnosis, yeah, first, um, the test to diagnose stomach cancer, the uh, first one will be endoscope, say endoscopy. So endoscopy is actually insert a flexible tube, yeah, with a camera, then going through the mouth and into the patient's esophagus, and then go to the stomach. So they actually inspect and look at the stomach lining. So if they found anything, they will actually take some tissue out then they'll do the biopsies, yeah. Uh, next test they can do is the barium meal x-ray. So actually patient will actually swallow a liquid contained barium, okay. And they will actually go for x-ray to take a picture of the outline of the stomach wall. Yeah, so once doctor confirmed that uh, there's a stomach cancer, they will want to actually know the stage so that this one they, they can actually uh, give you the right treatment for that. So what are the tests they determine the stage of cancer is that they'll do blood tests. Sometimes they'll do uh, 
uh, all of this or part of this. The next one will be endoscopic ultrasound. Imaging test will do CT and PET scan. The last one will be exploratory surgery. So exploratory surgery is that they, they probably have to actually operate and take out some of the tissue to, to look at the further for further investigation. Yeah. Next, please. As for prevention, um, they, uh, here are the following. Yeah, of course, uh, eat healthy diets, balanced diet with fruits and vegetables. Of course, limit the consumption of salty food, barbecue food, smoke, and preserved food. And at the same time, stay at a healthy weight by doing exercise regularly. If you are a smoker, stop smoking. So uh, regular screening if you are in the high risk group. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah, as for the treatment for stomach cancer, here are the following um, surgery. Under they will remove part of part of the stomach or whole of the stomach. Yeah, and uh, next they will actually uh, go for they 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 may actually go for chemotherapy. It may be given alone or combined with radiotherapy. Yeah, uh, radiotherapy. Next we have the radiotherapy. So after the surgery, it may be given together with chemotherapy. So chemotherapy, surgery, and radiotherapy, it may actually go um, hand in hand together. It all depends on the treatment that the doctor suggests and advise. So the last one will be targeted uh, treatment. So targeted treatment are actually using a special drug to treat cancer tumor that has a high level of HER2 protein. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Yeah, uh, in general, these are the common treatment type for cancer. So the first one will be surgery. And uh, surgery, of course, you will actually operate and to remove the tumor. Okay, so the advantage will be a greater chance of uh, cure, especially if the cancer has not spread to other parts of the body. Yeah, and the drawback will be surgery. Uh, as for chemo, it's actually to use the medication to treat cancer. And and those these are these can anti cancer drug are actually uh, administered to string or kill cancer cell. But the advantage is that they actually keep cancer from spreading and slow the cancer growth. So it actually helps because it kills a cancer cell um, and uh, relieves the symptom such as pain and uh, blockage caused by the cancer and and cure the cancer if possible. And the drawback is that. Um, they they will kill all cell, yeah, because because uh, the the drug itself is actually administered to kill to get the cancer and all the cell that relate, yeah. So um, the drawback also include side effect, uh, hair loss, bone marrow suppression, yeah, intense intestine uh, intestinal wall injury, and yeah, and the rest of side effect. As for radiotherapy, it's actually apply high energy particles to destroy or damage a cancer cell. Um, the advantage is that the radiation treat just the tumor and it's more localized. And of course, the drawback will be fatigue and skin change and may affect your appetite as well. So we talk about targeted. Targeted is actually use a drug to specifically target on specific cancer cell. Yeah and little damage to a normal cell yeah and uh, but the drawback would be some of the new drug can be quite costly and of course still carry some side effect yeah um, immunotherapy and homotherapy is also uh, uh, the treatment for cancer yeah uh, next please Next, we will look at the consumption of uh, health food. And we can actually consider a good number of health food uh, that has the ability in regulating our physical constitution and immunity, as they can actually lay the foundation to control the growth of cancer cells. Um, one of them is uh, gadoduma, or we so-called lingzi. 
uh, as it has been regarded as the top grade health food in enhancing our health. Yeah, next please. Yeah. Um, Gadoderma or lingzhi is a type of mushroom fungus that has the uh, therapeutic healing property. It has been uh, in uh, 2000 years of history and uh, 50 years of, uh, of a modern scientific research. Yeah. And um, consistent and long-term consumption of lingzhi helps to regulate and rejuvenate your body function and slow down the speed of aging and prolong one's life and improve the quality of life. So this statement has actually documented in the oldest medical book in China. Okay, Sanong Ben Chao and Ben Chao Kamo. Yeah, uh, there, are, there are modern scientific research that actually uh, documented in the PubNet. Yeah, PubNet is the US National, National Institute of Health, actually from US. Uh, there are 900, 900 uh, so called uh, article and uh, study actually on this link to Encadotoma. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Now we look at uh, how this cardiomyopathy uh, on cancer supplement sub, uh, supplement to cancer treatment. Yeah. Now look at the right picture of our body uh, system diagram. It actually consists of uh, many systems, and each system has their own um, so-called problem and diseases. Now we will look at what the function and benefit of this uh, cardiomyopathy can help in all of the system. Yeah. Uh, the first one is a uh, regulate immune system. So fortify immune defense for cancer prevention. And immune system is like the, the soldier who uh, defend the country uh, from being attacked uh, by the enemy. So that will also help to reduce um, uh, reduce the uh, so-called the infection um, during treatment. And uh, so immune system must be regulated, cannot be too high, okay, cannot be too low. Too high, you will actually attack our own body. Yeah, too low, you actually get infection and invaded by, by the virus easily. So number two, improve blood circulation. So this blood circulation is very important, okay. It's like uh, blood circulation is like the transport system that actually help to deliver oxygen and nutrient to the whole body, which are all our system require. Okay, organ, all the organ in respective system that require. Yeah. So in TCM perspective, yeah, smooth flow of blood and qi can actually prevent formation of lung also. Yeah. So third, we look at it. Yeah, enhance liver function. So uh, detoxification. So this is to prevent potential side effect of drug on liver and elevated liver enzyme. So um, for during during this uh, tri cancer treatment, okay, is a uh, chemotherapy. These are the drug you have to actually get rid of from our body. So liver function at this time is must is must be at the optimal level in order to clear away all the toxin from our body. So it's very important. So if you have elevated liver enzyme means that your liver is not functioning well, then the detoxification may not work well and you will, the drugs will not be able to actually clear away from our body effectively. Yeah. And the last one, remove free reticle and antioxidation. So free radical actually cause damage to DNA and they are linked to many diseases such as diabetes, heart disease and cancer. So the reason why this linker is so unique is that um, it has all these function and benefits because they are of the two major components, tratopinoid and micromolecular polysaturate. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah. Um, for Gadudama in assisting cancer treatment, how they actually, uh, how, what's their approach? Actually, there are two approaches. The first approach 
in uh, cancer treatment, uh, assisting in cancer treatment is that they, they actually, first one is the prevention of cancer cell proliferation or metastasis, meaning that they actually prevent the cancer cell from growing bigger or spread out of the original place. So how they do it is actually they, they have the ability to induce apoptosis and to kill cancer cell directly. And with that, if they are actually, apoptosis is, um, apoptosis is, uh, is a natural process uh, of programmed cell death in our own cell. So uh, normal cell actually go through this process. So for cancer cell, they actually uh, don't follow this rule. So that, uh, so they actually, uh, that's why they actually keep on multiplying, multiplying. Yeah. So actually Ling Zi able to induce this apoptosis uh, to this cancer cell. That, that, thereby actually when the cancer cell not growing, then it will not spread. And then it will actually increase the patient survival rate. The second approach is that they actually complement treatment to chemotherapy and uh, radiotherapy. How they do is by antioxidation and stimulating mechanism such as bone marrow, uh, hematopoietic. So this hematopoietic is a formation of blood cellular component and which is required to make uh, our red blood cell, white blood immune system and the rest. And also provide liver protection. So this um, so-called uh, during chemo treatment, um, bone marrow suppression is, is quite a common uh, uh, so-called condition. So, um, and it, when that happens, is it make it, uh, uh, this chemo drug actually make it um, uh, harder for the bone marrow to make blood cell, okay, the way that it normally does. Uh. So uh, Ling Zhe able to actually uh, uh, provide this stimulating mechanism to actually uh, help bone marrow to actually increase the, the so-called the ability to produce the red blood cell. And also the next one will be reduces the side effect of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned about, there are many, um, about 900 over so-called evidence-based uh, study published in the PubNet. They do, they just do a Google search, you can actually find uh, related so-called gadoderma and cancer or linked and cancer in the database. Yeah. Uh, next. Next, we will look at the research and technical paper. Yeah. So uh, here are the, the few examples of those uh, uh, research paper. Yeah, the first one, um, this first one is uh, by the professor Dong Da Chen. It's on the anti tumor experiment. So um, the result came out to be a uh, high dose of uh, those uh, uh, gadotoma extract. Okay, uh, were found to be effective in stopping the tumor growth. The second uh, study is by the professor Ling Zhe Bing. Okay, um, they actually study. Uh, with the mite news fed with gadoderma polysaturide. So this, the result came out to be uh, good. They are able to prevent tumor cell from growing new blood cell, blood vessel. So causing cancer apoptosis due to starvation. This is just now uh, mentioned about how apoptosy process, how they actually stop it from growing. Yeah. And the third and fourth is also uh, on the can uh, gadoderma research on cancer cell metastasis and their, their inhibition uh, ability. So in summary, tretopinoid inhibit new vessel formation in a direct manner. Okay, meaning that they actually, uh, this tretopinoid component actually stop uh, the cancer cell from growing new uh, blood vessel. Actually, this cancer cell and normal blood, normal cell, they are they behaving like um, when they, they 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 want to actually survive, they actually will grow new blood vessel. Yeah, normal cell also grow new blood vessel, but this cancer cell didn't go through the apoptosis process, so they keep growing. So, the new blood vessel will actually provide them nutrient and food, so they can actually survive. So they keep on growing. So this tetrapinol is able to stop this new blood vessel from forming and then 
when you stop this, they actually starve it. They don't have food. They will not survive long. Yeah, this is what it means. So the next component is polysaturides. Polysaturide is the other way now. They actually strengthen the immune system uh, molecule and then let the immune system to actually stop the cancer cell from growing new blood vessel. Yeah. So um, another, another um, conclusion by, from the study is that they actually found that high dose will have a significant prominent effect on tumor, uh, tumor tissue inhibition. Yeah. Next, please. Next, we look at the LinkedIn research on uh, the stomach cancer. So the first one is a uh, healing effect of, uh, they are actually looking at healing effect on uh, this uh, gadolinoma lucindum polysaturate on the uh, acetic acid induced ulcer. So this is, uh, this was done by Singapore and US uh, using the gadolinoma lucindum polysaturate they actually want to find out to study the effect of a polysaturide, yeah, fraction from this uh, gadolinoma lucindum on the healing effect on a gastric ulcer induced by acetic acid in the red. Yeah. So the experiment is that they 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 they, they actually uh, inject the the abdominal of the red was incised. And the stomach was actually treated with the acetic acid for one minute. And then they treated with cardinal lucidum with a certain dosage, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and one gram per kilogram. Yeah. So once a day, and then they do it do this so-called uh, uh, treatment for 14 consecutive days. Then they actually compare with the control group. Control group means that they, they have not done anything. They compare it. Okay. So the treatment with this, they found that um, they have improved, they saw improvement in the gastric uh, mucus level and also increase in the gastric prostaglandin concentration. These two are the two main components for to, to actually help the healing of the stomach uh, ulcer. So the result came out that they actually found that the, uh, the gadoduma lucindum uh, this component has the healing effect on this kind of uh, ulcer in the red, which may actually represent a useful herbal preparation for the prevention and treatment of uh, this um, peptide ulcers. Yeah. So next. So next study is uh, on the healing effect of uh, Gadolma lucindum on uh, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drug induced uh, peptide ulcer. So this study um, actually to see is there a, a gadotoma had a direct mucosa, mucosa healing effect yeah, in the, in the so-called endometatin treated red. Yeah. So the experiment was inject this uh, so-called uh, drug into the mice so as to model the uh, NSAID effect. Yeah. So the two experiment group of mice actually based on the dosage of uh, Gadotoma GLPS at different dosage, 250 milligram and 500, mi 500 milligram per kilogram. So they actually observed the number of ulcer spot in the uh, first day, third day, and sixth day. So the result came out that for those mice in a, in a 250 milligram dosage, they just saw a drop compared to, to the uh, control group. The drop is 24 to 29%. Yeah. As for the 500 milligram per kilogram dosage, they saw a drop, okay, 44.6, uh, 44% to 52%. So these are comparing to the control group. Control group is the one that without any uh, GRPS gadotoma lucindum uh, treatment. So it showed that the 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 you look at the number, the smaller means it's better because yeah, the size is uh, the ulcer spot is less. Yeah. 
So the, re the result demonstrated that GLPS gadoderma lucindum at 250 and 500 mg per kilogram have the ulcer healing effect on NSAID induced pep peptic ulcer. Yeah. So next we look at the Lingzi research on anti tumor effect. Yeah, on stomach cancer. So this experiment is that they inject kind of virus they call MKN. One EBV. This kind of virus can be found in our stomach. So they actually get this virus cell into the new mice and uh, treated with gadoderma GLP, GLE, gadoderma lucindum extract. And three components are actually it's a gadoderma, the other one is, is a QCT, and followed by ISL. These are different components. Okay, one of them is gadoderma lucindum. Yeah, for the anti, because all these components have an anti-tumor effect. So they want to see which one is the best. Yeah. Uh, after 14 days, when the tumor site was uh, about, when they, when they saw this tumor site, they actually, uh, after injected the virus, they see this tumor site, 14 days later, they see this tumor site grow to 100 and 200 uh, this size. Then they start to treat these uh, mice with the three component for 23 days. Yeah, Gadoderma lucindum, QCT, and ISL for 23 days. And do a daily dosage of 30 milligram per kilogram. Yeah, periodic data collection of this tumor size. They, they monitor the tumor size. So those mice with treated with GLE or GLE with QCT show tumor size at 50% smaller than the control group. Yeah. So you look at the chart. It, on the right B, you see the, the the control group is on the top, yeah? So followed by QCT, ISL, and then the last one will be QCT and ISL. So actually show that QCT and, uh, no, QCT and uh, Gadoderma lucindum together, they have a best result. But here it show, also show that the Gadoderma has the ability to actually inhibit the growth of tumor, yeah? As you look at the chart below, C and D, is that the lower the better, meaning they won't, the, the, the control group is on the top top uh, line. The top line means that it grow uh, bigger. Yeah. So the bottom line means it's actually uh, grow not as not as big, but it still grow, but grow at a smaller size. Yeah. So this is just to show that the result from this cardinoma has the ability to inhibit the growth of tumor. Yeah. Uh, next, please. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we now look at the, the company that has been in the business that's uh, specialized in the top grade lenses product for the past 32 years. And uh, the head office is in Taiwan. And, uh, uh, Jim, sorry, you're a bit soft. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. So the yeah the head office in Taiwan and uh, the name is a uh, double crane and in uh, the rest of the region they call it Shuangho. Yeah. So they have they they own their own they they own the Gadoderma research and development. They have their own farming. They have their own production and they have their own distribution network. Yeah. So they. Their core product is in gadoderma and with rich tretopinoid and micromolecular polysaturate content. So they are all sci scientifically certified with government endorsement. As you look at it, there are HSA, TQF, and ISO certification. Yeah. Yeah, here we have a different dosage at different for different needs. Yeah, so this is the recommended uh, dosage plan, um, so-called based on the result and experience gathered from the leader and the user. Yeah, so for if you look at the chart, the first for prevention, we will take child YK1, okay? Uh, then for cancer treatment, you can just start off, okay, depending on cancer stage, you can start off uh, 30 YK1 or 5 YK2. Okay, and it goes on 60 YK1 
or 10YK2. And when you go to a stage 3 or 4, you can actually go for minimum 120YK1 or 20YK2. Yeah. The next will be looking at after, yeah, uh, first year, second year, third year, fourth, fourth year, fifth year, years of after remission. You can actually start off with first year after remission, you can start off with minimum 30YK1. Progressively, you can actually reduce to 20YK1, 15YK1, and if for maintenance after the five year uh, remission, you can actually continue to have it for child YK1, back to the prevention uh, kind of dosage. Yeah. Yeah, now we look at testimonial one. Um, Madam Yu, age 63, okay, when it's uh, 2020, age 63, this one from Taiwan. Uh, she had bad, the, the case is uh, she had a Barrett's uh, and Sophagus, um disease. And also she is a long-term use of stomach medication. Yeah, and she had three CM stomach tumor. So uh, in 2018, she had very bad cough for quite a while and went for a medical check and found nothing, abnormality in the lung. We thought it was a lung problem because it quit coughing. So after some time, went for another health check. It found that the cough symptom was related to a GERD, which is a acid reflux disease and had started to develop Barrett's and Sovagus disease. Yeah. So doctor prescribed medication to treat her stomach. So after taking this uh, stomach medication, she continued for one year. And uh, during one of the medical review found that there is a 3CM tumor at the stomach, layer three. So to further investigate, she actually uh, scheduled her next health check, okay, in one month time. While waiting for the next check, uh, recommend, recommended by her doctor since you are waiting why not uh, can start taking Lingzi one pack? Yeah, so she decided to take Lingzi one pack in the morning and night and lactoberry one says sachet every meal. She continued the dosage for one month. Uh, so uh, went for, then after that, she went for a medical review and it showed that the tumor size had reduced to 0.7 cm. So as the as for the stomach medication, doctor told her no medication for her, as the stomach medication uh, should actually temporarily stop after six months, should not continue uh, for for that long period. So in twenty twenty February, doctor found no tumor in the stomach, and her buried F uh, esophagus uh, condition had also improved. So. Uh, after taking the Ling Tzu for some time, she realized that her insomnia and the skin rash that she used to have also improved. So in summary, um, Ling Tzu not only has the ab anti-tumor ability, but long-term consumption can also help to improve the, improve the overall health condition. Yeah. So, uh, testimonial too. So this is uh, Amir, uh, Mr. Su, age 58 in uh, 2020, also from Taiwan. Uh, he had stage 3 tumor cancer uh, sometime back. Okay. In 1997, September, he had acute and severe abdominal pain, stomach pain. And the pain remained after taking uh, so-called prescribed medication. So doctor increased his dosage. So uh, despite increasing the dosage, the pain still remained. So after one month, he went to hospital for a medical check on his condition and was diagnosed with stomach cancer. So no choice is done with the surgery to remove two-third part of the stomach and also the gallbladder because it's affected. Uh, so six tumor had been removed. They found uh, two already in black color and one tumor already rotten. So doctor classified this as third stage instead of earlier assessment of uh, consider as a early stage stomach cancer. So um, he stayed in the hospital after the surgery. They, he discharged after 56 days and 
he lost 10 kilogram in weight. So um, after discharge, chemotherapy plan for one session per month. Yeah. So due to his low blood count of uh, a white blood cell at 1008, so his uh, first session of key, the his fifth session of chemotherapy was delayed. Okay, by two months after his by two months. Okay, after his recovery of blood count. Then the same situation happened in the sixth session as his white blood count dropped to 1005. So his chemotherapy plan delayed again for another few months. So this thing go on. In, 20, in 2000 January, he started, okay, through friend recommended, he started 16 capsules of Ling Zhe daily. Uh, so this Ling Zhe he, take, he took was a high concentration type of Ling Zhe and 30, 32 capsule of uh, bee pollen. So after a few months, his white blood cell went up to 3002, just in time for the seven chemo session. He continued the Ling Zhe. Yeah, he continued the Ling Zhe. Then after one month, he success, successfully completed the last chemo session, which is uh, his total uh, chemo session was uh, scheduled for eight sessions. So his last chemo session was number eight. So as his doctor, um, for the last two times, the doctor saw the blood count uh, went up uh, as uh, didn't, didn't expect that he actually recovered so fast for the white blood cell. So the doctor actually curiously asked, what has he been eating since his white blood cell recovered faster than expected? So he told the doctor it was Ling Zhe. So doctor only cautioned him that he was so surprised. Our doctor cautioned him that just need to be careful in choosing the right, correct brand when taking Ling Zhe. Yeah. So his condition improved and back to normal. So he stopped the Ling Zhe one year after the first year of recovery. Yeah, after the, the chemo. But he worried that the disease may come back. So he continued to maintain two sachets of high concentration of Ling Zhe. And his cancer has been in complete remission for the 23 years, okay, from 1997 until 2020. So in summary, Ling Zhe helped to improve the white blood count during chemotherapy. And long-term consumption is critical to prevent cancer from recurring. Yeah, and all this I've been uh, I put the link on the source Gadodoma uh, this uh, 2010 issue 48 because there is a follow up by 2010 and 2020 issue yeah for this uh, so called this uh, testimonial yeah next please okay next we look at the Yongkem Poland so this uh, Poland they have the most complete food on earth, more than 200 plus of nutrients. Okay, it's good for uh, treatment during the treatment period. It's good to have this as our own supplement. They have more than 16 vitamin, more than 16 minerals, 21 amino acids, 28 nucleo acid, and more than 24 enzyme and coenzyme. So it helps to regulate our nutritional imbalance calm our nerve and relieve stress, help in weight loss, yeah, increase stamina and remove fatigue, and enhance our absorption of Ling Zhe. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah, in conclusion, so cancer is still one of the most dreaded diseases. Gadodoma is one of the best health food, okay, to prevent and to, to actually to consume and also uh, complement treatment on cancer. Uh, Gadoma enhance our body immune system. Not only enhance, it actually regulate. Yeah, and use of Gadoma together with surgical remove chemotherapy is effective in improving the condition to actually help in the reduce the side effect. Yeah, so uh, other Songho products such as bee pollen and the rest of supplement can actually be consumed as part of your balanced diet formula during the treatment. I end my presentation.